The greatest power you possess is your ability to choose. Join Lowe's more as he reveals how you can begin to maximize that power by exploring yourself on the deepest levels and committing to making lasting and positive changes. Get ready to achieve breakthroughs that will lead to accelerated growth and transformation because you are now tuned in to The Blueprint. Wow, this is Lowe's Moore, and welcome back to the Blueprint Podcast. The, man, I don't know if you were watching that intro, but man, can you believe it's been 52 weeks, 52 shows, I mean, uh, of the Blueprint? I, I remember when I first started, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that because this is the anniversary show. Uh, of the Blueprint Podcast, and we're just going to, man, can't wait to get started to talk about like this amazing year uh, on the Blueprint uh, from the comments that I received from you guys, the support that I've received from you guys out there each and every week, man, has just been so awesome, man. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for your support. Uh, I want to say thank you to all my guests uh, for taking time out there, busy schedule and 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 coming to spend an hour and a half and sharing time with me and being transparent and sharing their stories. They've just been so amazing. And, you know, one of the reasons why, uh, you know, we, of course, I started the podcast. There were some other things after retirement from the Boys and Girls Club that I wanted to do. I wanted to get out and share my experience and speak to individuals. And, and I created a vision plan, right? That's why it's the blueprint up there. I created a vision plan. Uh, I cre created a vision about what I wanted to do when I retired from the Boys and Girls Club in Mount Vernon. I would like to share my own experiences and I would like to really get out and promote my, my book from the Boys and Girls Club to the NBA Life on the Now Road. Uh, man, I was just excited to do some things, but yet I had this long list of things that I would like to uh, to do in the next chapters of my life. And all of a sudden the pandemic hit. And as I started to look at my vision board, my vision plan, all I could see that I could do at the very bottom of it was a podcast. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later. And here we are, 52. And, and, and the other thing is, I, during the pandemic, I wanted to be encouraged. And I wanted to encourage others, right? And, and you know, so, it, it you know, I wanted to get on and I wanted to invite people on and, and, and so that they can share their experience, share their stories, talk about the importance of family. And, man, and it, can you believe it? It's been 52 weeks. It's been a year already, and and I, I've never been more excited. So I want to really jump right into it. Want to say once again, thank you very much to everyone that I just seen post at the bottom there. Thank you for uh, for your well wishes. Thank you for your support all year long. And you know, pray for me as we as we move forward. Um, you know, that we will continue to be a blessing. You know, here's here's my um my basketball over here. Yep, my basketball. This is my pebble, right? I see my man Jeff. There's Terry Red up there. What's up, Terry? Man, and I'm gonna drop this. This is my pebble in the pond, right? Because Denzel said my life was like a pebble in a pond, and you never know what the ripple effect is going to be. And I don't know what the ripple effect of each one of these shows for the last 52 weeks have had. We, we've yet to see. So I've heard from some people of the impact that the blueprint has had. And and, and maybe in the future, we st we'll continue to hear more and more. I, I heard somebody on your show that changed my life, uh, that encouraged me, caused me to get out a sheet of paper or get out a notebook and start to write down my vision, my dreams, right in the midst of the pandemic and right where you are right now, you can create your own blueprint. So I'm just excited. Um, I like to say that, man, in 2021, as we move forward 
in 2021, big things are going to happen, man. Say that to yourself. Big, big things are going to happen. We're going to have a great time, man, uh, in 2021. Hopefully you had it already. I mean, I got both of my shots. You know, mo everybody in my family, most everybody in my family got their shots. I mean, everything is kind of easing up a little bit. I don't want to take too much chances, too many chances. But, you know, uh, I, I like to keep my mask on and continue to, to manage my social distancing. And, and man, and I just want to really enjoy life. I, if I can say one thing as I move forward, enjoy your life. When you wake up every morning, say, I'm going to enjoy this day. And as I move forward, I'm going to enjoy moving forward, man. I'm really excited, man. Um, and, and, and so I want to get going and, you know, I want to get going and I'm going to have, I had two guests and I have some people who are going, hopefully going to pop on. Uh, so it's going to be an exciting show. So let, let's get started. I want to start out with the book of the week. And it's, it's a book inside. This is a book. If you uh, know anything about pa Bob Proctor, right? Uh, thinking into results, or you can get a book from Bob Proctor for free, download it to your phone. I was born rich, but this is, this is, this is a uh, audio training that has a book in it, right? But this is my book of the, of the week, thinking into results. You got to think your way to results, right? Thinking is so important and so powerful. So look that up online and see if you can if you can get that training right there. Because as you move forward, whoever controls your thinking controls you, right? And so we we must know how to think in the midst of a pandemic, man. If we if if we thought wrong or thought out of control, man, we would just be our life would be totally out of control. And 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 shows and books uh, like this. Uh, like the blueprint, uh, help to keep you focused, help you keep you encouraged, help to motivate you in the midst of any trial or tribulation or test. So that's the book of the week, right? And now we have the word of the week. You know, I'm going to show two two slides here. Is, is how do we think into a result? And the key word is result. The bottom line is I always want to get results. Right. No matter what. I want good results. They're, all, they're always going to be results, but we want positive res results. We want good results. We want blessings. Right. And and, and so uh, that's the word of the week called the word of the week is re results. And you see this saying here, the same old thinking, the same old results. So change the way you think. Right. And you'll get better results. So that's the word of the week. And then I have uh, an affirmation, a quote of the week. And it says here, you have been given creative abilities. Let your thinking control your reality. Leave that there for a second because I'm, I'm, I want to make it personal. So when you get up in the morning, I, uh, I let my thinking control my reality. See that? I... Here it goes. I have been given creative ability. That makes it personal. I have been given creative ability. I have been given personal uh, creative ability. And then say it to yourself. Let your let I will let my thinking control my reality. Right. Because what I think is what I get. And that those are the uh, affirmation for the week. And got a couple of shout outs. And the first shout out, I want to I want to give a shout out to uh, the New York Photography and Video video Videograph Group uh, called the NYPVG. Right, I, I want to say thank you for uh, hosting the show each and every week for for uh, at least I mean almost forty shows. You guys have been right by my side. I want to say thank you to Charlie. Thank you to Peter. Thank you to Carmine. Right. And I think the other one is thank you to Anthony. I think it's Anthony. And I want to say thank you guys, man. You have been awesome, man, over these last uh, 40 or more weeks. And I look forward to uh, the future. And then I got one more. I got another shout out. 
I want to shout out to my lovely wife, Patrice Wallace Moore. Um, and, you know, during my retirement and during the start of this, and one of my guests uh, was talking to us about a podcast. Because I thought a podcast was, you know, I'm just going to get on the Facebook or Instagram and it's going to be two people. And I'm just going to get up there. And one of my guests said to me, to my tonight's guest said to me, um, no, you're not going to do that. You need uh, you need a camera. You need uh, you need mics. You need lights, you know. Uh, and and I was like, what? You know, and my wife was like, yes, yes. And every time I turned around, if he said something, she would write it down. And the next thing you know, right it would come in the mail. You know, it's like Amazon became my, my best friend and stuff was coming in, mics was coming in, lights was coming in. So I want to salute my wife. She's the executive producer of the show. Um, and, you know, you see these lovely, and you know, when you see the intros, you know, every week she puts the intros and outros together for me. And I want to say thank you. She does a awesome job man she takes the time out of her busy schedule to do it she showed me some things so like when you see flyers and different things like that she showed me some things that so i tried to help her out and i tried to do the flyers and and so we we have been a great team you know i want to say to my wife thank you love you appreciate you and um love you too. <laughs> she's sitting right next she said love you too uh, love you back so i want to give a shout out to her and so now I want to show a couple of, uh, I think we got a couple of videos we're going to show you right now. Hello, Father. This is your daughter, your number one daughter. And so it is time to celebrate you. And I wanted to just say, Congratulations on making it to a full year of broadcasting the podcast of Blueprint. I am excited for what's next. I'm even more proud of the fact that you um, took this experience um, from retiring to figure out like what was next for you in your career. And I think you did an awesome job at selecting the participants, um, and the guest speakers. And I look forward to what Blueprint is going to, um, present next. Um, I'm only expecting bigger and better. And I mean, you did all of this while being a pop pop to Dakota. So, you know, I commend you for um, taking him on a few days throughout the week and still being able to be productive and put together a, an effective show um, and using your time wisely. So continue to thrive, continue to trust God and allow him to lead you for what's next. Congratulations on one year. And I love you. Mish. Congrats, Dad. Congrats. Uh, happy one year anniversary of the Blueprint Podcast. Um, we're looking forward to another year of great success and a lot of knowledge that you guys are given and yeah congrats we're happy for you we're happy we're your favorite pop-in guest too <laughs> love you bye congrats hey dad it's Lozi. i just want to say congratulations on one year of the blueprint podcast this is such an amazing achievement and i'm super proud of you the podcast has been going amazing and i can't see wait to see how you continue to elevate yourself because you know that's what you do and i'm super proud and inspired by you every day and i and i just want to continue to say uh, keep going for it and never you know as the great diana tarasi said you are never too old to dream and so you're my role model my inspiration super proud love you 
happy one year anniversary on your podcast, Dad. Love you. Hey, Lowe's, man. Just wanted to congratulate you on your one year anniversary of the podcast, The Blueprint, and continue to influence and inspire. We love you. Wow. So, yeah, that, those are my those are my kids. Uh, woo. Uh, um, all right, let's 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 move on. Let me shake myself here and get going. <laughs> let me introduce my uh, um, let me introduce my guests for this evening. I want to bring on Mr. Rich Douglas and Mr. Steve Vaccaro. It is rich. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Steve. Hey. Yeah. Congratulations, Los. Oh, that's right. You. One year. Who would have thought it? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I hope I have you guys to be to thank for that. Um <laughs> so I, I want to say thank you. And and uh I was speaking earlier. Um, you know, about the person who uh, said to me, I think about a couple of years before um, before I, I even did my vision plan, uh, I think it was at a marriage conference and uh, Rich came over to me and he said, yeah. hey, um, yo, I think you, you should do it. He's talking to me and my wife. You guys should do a uh, blog. You guys should do a podcast. You, you know, I'm like, what? I'm thinking like, what is a podcast? You know? And but yet, you know, a couple of years later, I'm writing the, uh, my vision plan, and all of a sudden, uh, thank you, Miss Kathleen Gleason, saying happy anniversary, and all of a sudden, everybody's saying happy anniversary. But uh, thank you, everyone. And and then so, when I was thinking about like, man, what am I going to do during this pie, during this uh, pandemic? I I remember Rich saying, you ought to do a podcast you know like that and so i i found you know asked my daughter to get rich number i found rich and we started talking about it i had been watching like alan houston uh alan houston was doing a uh a podcast um and he was doing a podcast and all of a sudden i seen him with two guests and i was telling him that was that's what i had in my mind that uh, I was going to do a podcast, just pop on, pop on Facebook, pop on Instagram. And then when I started talking to Rich, Rich was like, no, nah, man, you can't do that. You, you you got to do this thing right, man. You know, uh, you know, you need, you need lights, like cameras, microphones. And he starts saying things and writing stuff down. You know, I'm writing stuff down. My wife is writing stuff down. And, 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 and next thing you know, around yeah around this time you know june 7th i think it was we, we started the first podcast we started doing it live on, on 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 facebook and and uh yeah we we was we were tweaking you know rich knew what he was doing i didn't know what i was doing we were in the midst of the podcast so we, we had our mask on down here in, <laughs> in in the man cave and you know he was sitting you know, sitting right next to me uh, each week as we did each show and we we're trying to figure it all out. I want to say thank you, Rich, because you created the logo, right? And you created the guy who's talking. You've got the guy who's talking on there. He says all those things on the in the in the intro and outro. Uh, we wrote down. I had to end up writing down um, a plan. You, you asked me to write down a plan. What would the show be about? How many segments do you, do you do? And I was like, man, this is, man, I might as well come out of retirement, you know, <laughs> after you start doing this. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I want to say thank you, Rich. Uh, you know, first of all, i talk to you specifically right now. I want to say thank you. And I mean, you, for your encouragement, for your support. I think I still have your camera here. I think I still got your light here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, pandemic. And, uh, you know, I want to say thank you, man. And uh, you, you you made it happen, man. You were welcome, sir. You pushed me. You're welcome. You pushed thank me you. And you made me believe. 
Thank you. Thank right. you. And, uh, with all that uh, IT uh, work, and and Rich Man is an uh, amazing IT person, and um, you know he can talk a little bit about some of the things he's doing with the voice voice box radio, and then one of his projects. I'm you know talk talk a little bit about that, Rich. Talk about the voice box. Talk about what you do. Talk about the voice box, and also, man. We want you to talk about that tech box. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, the voice box, what I'm doing is um, I do, like, the podcast for everybody and stuff like that. And it, it's it's on Apple and Google. And, you know, you go on, you can listen to music and things like that. But um, my main focus right now is on um, the tech bus. Um, I, create, I bought a coach bus, converted it to a mobile technology lab. And um, wow go around yeah um i create a curriculum for the schools and then i um teach students but because of the pandemic now we're forced to go online first it was 21 students but now i can only hold maybe 10. so um yeah so i create i'm creating an online school so we could do all the curriculums online for the students it's free and when the students graduate if they're in high school or even you know the elders veterans when they graduate, um, they're entitled to make a sixty thousand um, dollar job. You know, make them. You know, trying to bridge the the digital divide between the low income community and the high income or middle class. So you know, that's what I'm doing right now. It's called mobile tech innovation. So um, and everything is free. It's a nonprofit, and everything is free and. You know, I'm just trying to do my part to help. That's it. Awesome, man. Awesome. That's that's beautiful. That is amazing. That is uh, <laughs> wonderful. Steve, thank you. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you. I mean, thank you guys thank got like minds. Uh, let me let me say this. Uh, Rich was in the midst of, you know, a transition in terms of work and career and stuff like that, and but yet he was still helping me do the podcast. And he came to me and said, "Hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm in transition for work. I don't know how much how much more I could do right now. I got, you know, I'm making this transition." And I was like, "Uh, I started thinking. I started getting a little worried. I said, I might have to do this by, by myself. I don't know what I'm doing, you know." And out of nowhere, I get a call. I get a call out of nowhere. Steve calls me. Wow. And Steve, and Steve says. Hey, Lowe's, I heard you doing a podcast. You know, how can I help? Right? So from one week, Rich was telling me, won't he do it? Yeah, God does it. God, God's a blessing. You know, he, he's awesome. And so one week I was talking to Rich and thinking about what I was going to do and who was going to do it. And, and, and Steve giving me a call. And one week later, we had transitioned to uh to see and to see studio and along with new york um group uh, NYP, nypdg yeah nypdg so and and that would man that was a you know awesome so i want you know so steve you know and i've known steve for a while i mean yeah, yeah and he's been a part of the chapters rap and uh i met steve when i was at, oh who's that handsome guy next to you steve I, I, oh, I guess that's you. <laughs> and and, and uh, you know that's that picture right there. We we we're actually doing an event for the Boys and Girls Club of Mount Vernon, and Steve had his radio show, The Chapters Rap, and he 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 allowed uh, to come. He was at the event and and allowed to produce and 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 share that event on the radio at that time, and. You know, he did several events with the Boys and Girls Club. And I, I had the opportunity to go with Steve when he had his radio uh, show in another part of Long Island. I was on his radio show. And then when I had, um, when I had, uh, I think it was my book, when I first came out with my book, Steve called me up and, and again, he we did a book, you know, a book signing in Barnes and Noble in Long Island. I mean, so Steve and I have been connected for for a minute there, and I'm happy for Steve because 
from the, the, the stu one studio, right? One studio to another studio to now a studio, uh, you know, I'm really happy. And uh, so Steve, I want to say thank you. And, you know, I know I'm, I'm going in the future, I'm going to have you guys back individually to talk a little bit more about, you know, what you guys really do. But Steve, talk to me a little bit about, you know, our relationship and then um, some of the things with the chapter wrap. First of all, those you've been ducking me for about a couple of years now. I want, I want to take you one on one now. All right, now you retire. You got the podcast, the pandemic. I got you now. No, no excuses. All right, let's go. Let's go. Charity game. Come on now. <laughs> hey, anytime, anywhere, any place. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I was I was shooting you on yesterday. Hey, 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 hold hold on one second, Steve. Hey, can we uh pop in? Uh we're gonna pop in uh so we got a friend of mine that was on the show wanna pop in, man. Oh and yeah, real quick. Where's the man at? Talent! That's a boom, talent. <laughs> Where's talent at, man? He oh he left. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, there he goes. What's up, man? Hey man. <laughs> Congratulations. You know, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Everybody know, like, these shows and podcasts, it's like a marriage, bro. You, you made your one-year anniversary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't leave you. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. How you feel? How you feel, though? I feel good, man. I, good. I feel real good. And, you know, between the family and you know, grandchildren, and then, you know, the comments that I received over, you know, over the year, um, and I was at the gas station and, and, and somebody was getting gas. Hey, no, what's up, man? I saw you. <clears throat> you know, I was like, man, you did? He said, like, yeah, man, that was awesome, man. So like, um, yeah, I feel good about that. I feel good when people feel good and they felt like they, that uh, we were able to contribute something that was helpful, to, particularly during this pandemic and the issues with social justice. I think we needed motivation and we needed encouragement. We needed what what Steve is doing. We needed what talent, what you were doing. Right. I mean, I, I was on your sh on your podcast, man, and you know, talking about sports, but it was more than sports. And you know, I listen to you from time to time, man, and I'm encouraged, man, because you know. Um, you 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 out a voice speaking out there and trying to encourage people, man, to move forward. So uh, I know the feeling, man. It's amazing because, like, say we've been doing these shows, you know, same as you for a full year, and I, I took the time to get super creative and came up with about eight different shows. And motivation was in top three shows. You know, the Motivation Monday, we did a a, a, a social media version. We did a live internet radio version and we did a video version uh, that, you know, you can go back and see later on. But that motivating thing, you know, when it hit home is when things start to slowly open it up and us comedians and entertainers had to slowly get uh, creative with getting back out. And the funniest thing is, as I got back out in these last few months, I can't go nowhere where nobody don't refer back to these shows. Right. You know, they're not, they're not talking about the movies no more, though. They're not saying, oh, the movie. They're not saying, oh, the radio. They're not saying, mm. Hey, man, you kept me going through the pandemic. Because people got to realize, I keep telling people, this was dress rehearsal for the end of the world. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> a lot of us fail. A lot of us fail. I, my first joke these days on stage is that. I say, yo, this was like practice for the end of the world, and a lot of y'all fail. They said virus, and you were <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They said COVID nineteen, and you bought more toilet paper. You failed. <laughs> you, know, you didn't go and say, "How do I do better? How do I help my family?" You said, "Quick, take me to DJ and get two thousand dollars worth of scotch." <laughs> you know what I mean? So when I go out there now, and people bring that up, and I mean, I I sit down and I hear people out, you know, uh, thirty or forty or fifty minutes. At a time, I give them real time to see what's on their mind, and people are really grateful that they have these platforms to go to to know. A, I think it's comforting knowing whatever you're going through, you're not alone. You know, 
and all those people who you may look up to, uh, they're still there going through this with you as well. And this is this is where the entertainment side has the responsibility of not trying to create a facade, if you will, and still act like, yeah, here's all that and everything's all gravy. No, it's not. This was a reality check for the world. Mm. This was a check for us to do better. This no was a, a rebooting, if you will. Mm-hmm. You see your do's and don'ts and, and maybe some wrong decisions, maybe some haste decisions to say, you know what? Knowing what I know now, if you shut the world down for a full year and take most people's income, most people's businesses, most people's livelihood, and housing, and education, all those things that was affected during this time, people got a chance to really reflect. And I'm getting that out here. You know, I'm, I'm out here free now. Uh, just came from Blue Show. And everywhere I go, I have been to Texas, I have been to, to Florida, the islands, the Marvel Vineyard, all those places. But it remains the same. The vibe out here is appreciative for this show. So this one year, uh, whether it hits home, because a lot of times we celebrate by a calendar. We say, oh, it's going to be here. I'm going to celebrate one year. But we need to really celebrate one year's worth of uplifting. Right. And redirecting and putting people back on a good path and a track of positive decision making going forward. I right. appreciate my brother. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man. Thank you, Talent. Appreciate you, man. And thanks for popping on, man. Yeah, oh, Talent, no Talent. God bless your efforts, man, because I. The pandemic, it's a matter of being proactive or reactive. We can react to everything around us and kind of say, whoa, me, whoa. But if you're proactive, it's like people like yourself and Lowe's and and Rich, that you have to reinvent yourself but adapt to it for the betterment of others. And I think that was was our time to shine back last March. You know, what what are we going to do at that time? Are you going to get the toilet paper or are you going to – look out for your family, but also help others along the way. And I know Lowe's went through retiring and, and what are we going to do? And he picked up the pieces and uh, did what he does. And, and it's a blessing. It's either you begin the week with your, the blueprint or you end the week with the blueprint. It's <laughs> however you look at it, you at the blueprint and it, get, and it sets you up for that upcoming week. But I love what you're doing, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, this was the ultimate case. We always hear these cliche sayings, right? The glass is half empty or half full. Right. I think this, this was the classic example of that. How are you going to look at this? Right. I, I always say this. How you come out the other end is everything, man. You right. can look at this like half empty, and those be the people that are, are having these heavy depression moments, uh, needing help to dig out of those those craters. And then you got the half full, you know, which is not like me said, you know what? I can't go anywhere, but how do I bring people to me virtually? And I look, I'm sitting in my office thinking that, and, I, and I'm looking in the mirror behind me, and I got a ton of merchandise that when I made and, and ordered it, intention was, as I'm out city by city, I have something for people to buy as a souvenir. But when the pandemic hit, I'm like, the post office is still open. <laughs> yep, yep, it's yep. Essential. It's essential. So my new job for the first time, Six, seven months of the game, the guy that woke up, walked the dog, got some coffee, and went to the post office. Man, you know what you could do? Ship it all to Amazon, and then let Amazon do everything, brother. Let Amazon That's true. do everything. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That's where's, where's your show at, man? I love to support you in Philly, man. Where yeah, definitely. Uh, well, Philly, I'm done. I'm about to get out of here, head back to Mount Vernon, and be with my dogs for about three days. Okay. Uh, then I go back out Thursday. Where am I? I got to go um, to North Carolina, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Okay. I got to do that. And then I go upstairs, uh, upstairs, upstate to uh, Syracuse and Rochester. And then, uh, you know, the rest of the money is all over the place from Florida, Tampa, Orlando. But, you know, are you in Philly? Uh, yeah, right? I'm, right, I'm right here in South Jersey, right next to Philly. Yeah, I work in the neighborhood. Oh, man. I wish I knew that. I, was, I, I had a, uh, three shows. In man. North Greenfield this weekend too. Man, yeah, man. <laughs> we got. I missed it, brother. I'll be there next month. Is a place called Arugas, uh, Sports Bar and Grill in North Plainfield. Okay. And they split the sports bar up and made half of it a comedy club. It's okay. Really okay. So I'll keep in touch through Lowe's. 
and let you know and be my guest. Come on out, man, and let's you know chop it up and have fun. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. And, and if you're ever on Long Island, I gotta look you up when you come to Long yeah. Island. I'll be out there next month. We'll work okay. on it. Okay, all right. I'll go through Lowe's, man. <laughs> all right, Thanks, Thanks, man. Congratulations, guys. I love you guys. Be safe. God bless, man. Keep inspiring, Lowe's. You are the blueprint, my brother. That's Thank right. You, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, awesome. Brother. Hey, yeah, yeah. Lowe's. You know what? Awesome. You know what's even more special. Awesome. More special about one year of shows. It's the one year you're doing the show. This changed the life for everybody. It changed the world. And you decided to change gears and switch gears after the Boys and Girls Club. And, and you can help people in your office. You can help people sitting down one-on-one or even a small group. But if you put a microphone in front of you or a camera or a microphone and camera, you have the potential of creating a blueprint for so many. And I've been blessed to have you part of the network that we've created because your show has really connected with so many people across the board and it's inspiring. I feel like I'm, si I'm sitting outside now, but I feel like I'm sitting in your living room talking to one-on-one -on -one conversation. It's very <laughs> humbling, it's very inspiring. And to see the level of people from all walks of life come together to support inspiring others it doesn't get better than that wow well thank you steve i appreciate that and uh yeah you you guys are on here with me tonight and we're gonna have people popping yeah. on and things like that and uh i, I want to show i think we got a couple of yeah. more videos uh i think we have a few more videos and stuff like that so i want to uh if, see if, if we can pop a few more in there while you guys watch Lowe's more junior you yes, sir. Yes, sir. Done it. I'm not talking about being a role model in the community. I'm not talking about uh, making it to the NBA. I'm not talking about raising a beautiful family. I'm not talking about teaching and, and passing on your knowledge to a uh, majority of the community in Mount Vernon. I'm talking about doing something that's harder than probably what you ever did before, and you did it with so much grace. I'm so proud to call you my father-in-law, my father-in-love. Um, you fill the gap in so many ways, but to run a successful, successful, which means having a different guest every week on a podcast is extremely hard and difficult to, to accomplish. And you have done it. I'm so uh, happy. Um, for you, I wish you the best. Continue doing what you're doing. Let's start going more mainstream. Um, however I can help, let me be there to help you. Um, let's get this podcast rolling. Let's get you more on, on speaking arrangements because you have so much knowledge to share. It is um, a waste if you do not share the blessings that God has given to you. So once again, Dad, I love you. Thank you and congratulations on the blueprint, making it one year. Awesome. Let's keep it. I want to send this congratulations out to my brother on this one year anniversary on the podcast. Uh, I've enjoyed you for a whole year and I know everyone else has. Uh, please continue your success. Your brother Doug, love you. Peace. My brother, my brother, my brother. Been one year, one year. It's been a long one year. You know, COVID hit us. You know, you 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 brought into the world this blueprint, but it's been one year now. I want to wish you a happy anniversary on your one year success and many more, and bring more and more and more. I know this is crazy, right? One year. We've been one year. Hmm. God bless you. Love you. Hello. What's up, bro? What's up, huh? We want to congratulate you on your first podcast anniversary. We wish you much continued success in the upcoming years. Congratulations. We proud of you. We love you. And God bless. Hi, Lowe's. Congratulations on your one year anniversary for the blueprint. It's been very entertaining. We've loved what you're doing. I hope you continue this journey and that you do it intentionally. Look at all the lives you've touched through each and every interview. It's been amazing, and we're so excited about 
all the upcoming episodes and what you have in store next. We can't wait to see what you have to come next. We're so excited and nothing but the best. Love you. God bless you and be blessed on purpose. <laughs> I tap dancing. What's up? Can we hear you, Steve? Oh, I'm leaving. What is that? I think Steve is a. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just weird. Yeah, he's gonna come back. But uh, so so um. Yeah, Lowe's man. I I can't believe it, man. When we first started this. Man, it, 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 I have to go with the Kari that every week that, yeah, it's like every week, man, you got a new guest. You did this, man. You, you made this successful. You have people waking up, listening to your, your nuggets, your nuggets of encouragement, man, your nuggets of knowledge for all the years and all the people that you've raised, man. You have raised kids. To be successful, you have Denzel. You got you got a bunch of people, man. You explain to me or to your guest how do you do that? How did you do that? Well, you know, I just started thinking about that over um, over the years, right? Um, you know, I, I'll say this because I had I had a gentleman on um, a few weeks ago when we were talking about the. Um, how to build a wealth mindset. We were talking about how, how do you build a wealth mindset or create a wealth mindset. Mm -hmm. And he was on, he was a, 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 a networking expert, right? That's what he, he, he did. And, and what I, I always thought was important. And when I first started playing basketball, my, my coach, when I was like uh, 10, 11, he's always talking about, man, these guys you are playing with, um, are going to be some long, long-term friends, right? And he used to always say, man, you know, never be rude to anybody that you meet, you know, and you never know what somebody uh, will have to say to you that will be a blessing to you. I, I remember, um, uh, God rest his soul, Ray Williams used to play with the New York Knicks. And uh, Mr. Jones was talking to us about, about making this comment, right? He was making this comment about, don't don't push people to the side. Listen to what they have to say. And uh, Ray was having problems with his knees, and it was some bum laying on the street. And Ray Williams was walking. We were walking by along with Ray, and a bum on the street sat up and he looked at Ray. He said, "He said you're Ray Williams, like that." And he's like, "Yeah." He said, "Man, you've been having some problems with your knees. You know, when I was young, I used to have these problems with my knees. You should get this." And he, he mentioned a combination of a, a couple of little things and and uh, Ray did it. He literally did it, took the little ointments and whatever and put it all together and it made his knees better. Right. But imagine if he just took, waved his hand at that at that bump, you know, and, you know, he gave him respect. He listened to him and he got blessed by that. So it for me as a little kid is always important to meet people genuinely. Right. And so anybody that I would bring into the, you know, hire as a staff to the Boys and Girls Club and some situations don't always work out. Right. Board members, you bring board members uh, onto the club. Sometimes they don't work. They sometimes they stay, sometimes they leave. Right. But I always looked at it as you're coming into a family. Right. Whatever you, you're on a team, that's a part of your family. Right. You're in the Boys and Girls Club. All the members somewhere down the line will become alumni and become part of your family, right? And so we're always trying to develop our, as I started the podcast with, was family, the importance and power of family, right? And then the importance and power of extended family, like meeting meeting Steve yep. for years, right? And staying connected, meeting you and yeah. staying connected. And so I think that's important. I met people over the years that I didn't just say hello to, I mean, everybody that I met was aspiring to do something, right? And so you want to be aware of the person that you meet and what they're doing, 
right? And so, um, you know, that's a very powerful uh, thing. And so we're going to pop on somebody right now, uh, pop on another guest real quick. Alan, what's up, man? You there? I ain't meant to pop on, but that was Alan Houston. He's gonna pop on. He should pop back on there. But yeah, that's that's important, man. Is meeting people, making friends, making them a part of your family, and 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 continue to move forward. And so I'm built up an extensive list. Of individuals, and um, that were not just people I met, but we became powerful friends. You know, wow. so when, you, when you call them, they see you as a good person. When you and when you call them, they, they man, sure, I'll come on because you have a relationship. Wow, that's 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 powerful, man. That's that's really powerful, and I could see from all your guests how you're good with relationships and networking, and that's what I'd love to get to get to. Alan's back on. What's up, Alan? Hey, what's going on? I'm good, man. I see you driving. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I'm just so oh, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm gonna try not to look at the look at the screen, but I just wanted to pop in. And appreciate you having me for a couple of minutes. I'm kind of on the move, as you can see. My wife's birthday yeah. tomorrow. And uh, okay. just trying to get get some stuff done. How you doing? I'm good, man. I got a uh, Rich over here, Steve over here. Talent just popped on. I remember when you uh, we were doing something at Marvin High School uh, with Fizzle yeah. and and yeah. Talent with most. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The ultimate <laughs> host. The ultimate. <laughs> See, yeah. Talent's probably still waiting on a check. He's still waiting for the check. <laughs> he, he, you know it, right? You know it. Yeah, yeah. He, he probably can hear you. He just left. He just left the yeah. show. Yeah, that's my guy, man. So much support for so many years, man. He supported for so many years. I always appreciate that. Yeah. 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 And I want to thank you for popping on, man. It's been, I couldn't, I was telling, was telling everybody else, man, we can't believe it's 52 weeks already. And we have one year. Well, it's amazing, man, because I remember, I remember when you called me and told me you wanted to do it. And, uh, you know, we were just talking about the impact that the, the format would be great because of, you know, I just heard the last dialogue you had about just how you've been able to share so many stories and your nuggets and 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 just being able to, to take the time to engage someone with your story and your message and how you've been able to impact people. Uh, it's just a great platform and it's hard to believe. Like you said, it's been a year already. Yeah. And I was inspired by two. I, I got encouraged by you too, because when Rich was saying it, I was watching your um, your podcast on Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I'm gonna do what Alan's doing like that." And Rich was like, "Nah, man, you're not doing that. You got to get lights, <laughs> cameras, microphones." Like, I gotta yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, see, and now, and see, now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta level up now because I'm like, you got the studio, you got, you know what I mean? And, and but the crazy thing is, um, you know, I, I just didn't. I never imagined it being this way either. You know what I mean? Just being able, I, I was, I didn't feel like I would be one to be able to facilitate a conversation. You know, I'm, you're a point guard. You're not the point guard. You're, you're, you're like a combo. I, I'm, I'm just used to just catching the ball and shooting. So, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was a, it was a, an adjustment for me. You know, learning how to do that. You know, just kind of carrying the conversation. But when you're talking about the things that you're talking about that God has put on your heart and not just put on your heart, but has poured into you over so many years. It's just, it's a natural overflow of information and context and wisdom. So it just spills, it's already, it just spills out in your conversation already. So now you're just turning the lights on. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, man. And yeah. I, think you, I think you should pop it on and 
we want to wish your wife a happy birthday because I know you're going to take care of her. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Ha tell her happy birthday. I'm sorry, brother. Tell her happy <laughs> birthday, man. Yeah, she yeah, she's the birthday. ultimate, like, she's like the ultimate, like, punk fake. Because she'll be like, I don't need anything. I don't want anything. I'm low maintenance. I'm So that's always, like, the ultimate setup. Right, you know, don't Man. do nothing. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, you know, you know, the Mother's Day was, you know, it's always tricky because Mother's Day is like two weeks before her birthday. So I gotta think in advance. I gotta gotta get creative. Man. <laughs> you gotta so, keep focused. Yeah, back man. To back. Stay on my game. Stay on my game. And the fact that the kids, you know, we have seven amazing children, and she's an incredible mother. Wow. And wife, so it just. So now wow. I just say, man, y'all need to do something nice for your mom. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, yeah, you got uh, some yeah, conversations too. How are the yeah, kids? Yeah. How are the kids, Alan? Awesome, man. My, my oh, well, my oldest is just graduated from NYU and yeah, chemistry. Wow. She's gonna God. God just really blessed her. She just got a new. Uh, she's gonna be doing some work at, at Sloan Kettering, um, and you know it. God is good, man. You know, it's um, it's, it's been a, it's been it's been a, look. It's hard to believe. You talk about fifty-two weeks, right? It's hard to believe that we're middle in the middle of the year already. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? My, my wife said that yesterday. Can you believe, man? This year is almost over. <laughs> it's crazy, man. You know, um, it just goes to show you how much that that everyone has been through. You know, in the last year and a half. 14 and months. Yeah. Yeah. So, man, just, just keep it. I'm keeping you in prayer, low as always, man. I appreciate your mentorship, your brotherhood. Um, just, just, just who you always consistently been. Um, and, uh, you know, just looking forward to hearing, hearing more of, of what you're going to be bringing. Well, I appreciate that, man. And uh, if you ever if you ever need somebody to come to the Knicks and make some shots, call me <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So Chris is doing you. Know. Yeah, but, hey, hey, I'll tell you, shoot it better than them. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm I'm trying to figure out now if, if 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 we can make shots, but I think we we need to keep a keep our D up. You know, we might we need we need you to block some shots, and I don't know about makes. We need you some block some shots this time. So we we we'll talk about that another time, though. Yeah, man. All right, but well, thanks a lot for coming on. Appreciate thanks, you. Okay, All right, Alan, have a good one, man. Yeah. Love, man. Don't forget that birthday, brother. Don't get caught up. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah, man, that that was that was awesome, man. Yeah, man, that's great. And, and you know what, Lowe's, what what your show? I mean, the the theme that's constant throughout each show. I mean, you focus on the word of the day, the book of the day, but it's always about family. It's always about faith, family, man. And faith. Yes. And through and through. I mean, it's inspirational. I mean, there's a lot of young people that watch the show, the older people, but that 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 um, ability to unite family and to remind us all that the focus is family and faith and friends and yep, week after week family. during this most challenging time it's so inspiring and the glass is always half full when your show comes on and, and yep. it's really uh and it's it's not only an hour it's an hour and a half so you get that extra half hour of um understanding yep. what family and friends are all about even all the people are coming on tonight I mean, yeah. family and friends, and I know your wife does such a great job behind the scenes, and it's such a beautiful family that I'm, I'm so blessed to be a part of it and to now get to know Rich and, and to yeah. see where everything has started. It's just beginning um, yeah. because see. I know that you go through just like a game preparing for each show. You do a remarkable job for it, and your attention to detail is second to none. Yeah. Thanks. Well, Steve. Think about it. An average podcast only 30 to 45 minutes and drops off. Yeah. Those is an hour and a half. Yes. And his goes like this. Everybody joins, 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 joins. Hour and a half. They'll be like, what? We want more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know. I know. Most shows are half hour. Half an, an hour. hour. Exactly. And people yeah. complain. I know. Those is an hour and a half. And people are like, we want more. 
yes, yes, yes. It, it, it's just remarkable. But the, the feeling, you can feel connectedness each yeah. and every show, each yeah. and every show. Yep. And yep. It's just, yep. it's just yep. a beautiful feeling to see it unfold. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, I know, and I know traditionally because you know I've talked to both of you guys about this, um, and and I know that a lot of us, you know, the other shows shows that Steve promotes, right? Um, you know, hang around the fifty-five minute mark. That's the that's the that's the, that's the mark of uh, you know being a podcast, you know, and. There's 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 one of the shows up there, Youth Hero show. Yeah, those two those two people. I gotta tell you a little story about that. That show originated. The genesis started during the pandemic. I mean, last March, I lost two jobs. I lost two jobs and didn't know what was gonna do. We were all quarantined, and I already had a show, two shows. But so for a hundred straight days, I decided to. I'm going to help frontliners. I'm a psychologist. I'm going to help frontliners and first responders during the day. I'm going to help coordinate food drives and medical supplies each and every day. So I said to myself, a hundred straight days, I'm going to do that with other people. And that's what I did. I was tested over 40 times. Wow. There's another show, Dads and Daughters. Mike Dempsey and his daughter, Kelly Dempsey, who's on the spectrum with autism, does a great job. That's on, on Sundays as well. Kick unhealthy relationships to the curb. Um, Stephanie McPhail is a clinician that does great work with working with people. Teen Talk, that's Ashley Blum. She does a show every Thursday. So one show became 14 shows, but all promoting positivity. And, and, and when the pandemic hit, I was out there on the streets. But at night, I was doing podcasts from my home, from my living room coordinating with everybody from around the world, Australia, England, Africa, uh, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Canada, because we were all going through it. So I got to meet new people as we went along and new shows developed. So when it lifted, it was a blessing because it kind of morphed into a situation now that every single show is providing support and positivity and a platform to inspire and advocate for others. So, and Lowe's has been a, I've been inspired by his story all along. I mean, to, to uh, grow up in Mount Vernon, to be the executive director to the Boys and Girls Club for so many years yeah. after his playing career. There's, I didn't even know he had a monument on the wall there. I yes. To Mount what? Vernon. Look what? That. I had to take a picture. You know, it's a couple of years back, but there's Lowe's, and uh, he's on, like, the wall of frame over there. Yeah. So um, remarkable, but he, seeing these stories unfold, all the people he's helped through the years and I inspired by him just by his friendship and his beautiful family. I mean, this is a blessing. You know, it, you know, people ask you, is it a hobby? Is it a job? It's a calling. I think yeah. we all have to give back because especially in this day and age, if we don't teach our young people right now, no one's going to. And with how the country's divided, oh, yeah. we, gotta, we gotta bring it to like what you're doing, Rich, that's remarkable. That's Thank unbelievable you. because you. you're bridging that gap. Thank we all have you. to do that. I mean, we have we have a we owe that to our families and, and people around us, our neighbors, and to combat all the divisiveness and the polarization and just bring it together. And Lowe's, you're, you're leading the charge. Yeah, appreciate that, Steve. And I know we're setting up right now to do a book tour in uh, in July. Okay. And, uh, we're gonna do a little traveling uh, book tour, and we got. Um, who is it? Yeah, we got the Lowe's Mall book there, and then we got Pastor Reggie. What is it, Reggie Tuttle? Yep, Reggie Tuttle. Reg, yep. Reg, Reggie Tuttle, and uh, he he's got an amazing story too. He's he's going to be on that tour with us, man. You know, selling his book, and I'll be doing my book. And, and Gary, you know, Gary Brown, former yeah. NFL best, uh, football player. Yeah. Uh, Super Bowl. What's your calendar? Rogers. Where's I'm your sorry? calendar, Lowe's? Uh, we're, we're actually working on it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, we're working on the calendar. Yeah, okay. yeah, we, we're gonna we'll finalize it within the next uh, week or so. Okay. But um, again, Gary Brown, he's another inspiration to young people. He does such great work and team up with Lowe's and uh, Reverend and a couple other guests along the way. It's an inspiring journey that we're gonna go on. It's another awesome. chapter in yeah. uh, all of our lives. Awesome. Yeah, and then, and then I want to thank you, Steve, for I met Tony, Tony Burton, 
back a few years ago when the both of you guys was trying to, to um uh you know uh reunite the boys and girls club there in uh, long island in hempstead and, trying to yeah, say hempstead yeah. and you you were going to be the director and she was doing she was a, a board member and that's how i got uh pastor uh tuttle uh i'm talking to tony last week and they're going to be both be my guests on um for father's day and tony i i was excited uh you know to meet her and i didn't really you know i didn't re i remembered her but uh when uh she started talking about her dad then i was like wow i was amazing ticky burton i was like oh your dad is ticky burton no oh, man what a legend he was a legend in albany right and so she's gonna she's gonna come on and she's gonna talk about her dad and um that's that's gonna be an awesome you know awesome uh show too as well and it, you know hey i want to say thank you guys man i appreciate you i think we got a couple of more videos hmm? dad first of all i love you so much second of all congratulations on your one year anniversary of the blueprint i think what you're doing is so special and beautiful that you are bringing all these people together creating connections inspiring so many people all across the country and i'm so grateful that i got to be a part of it so thank you for including me you are amazing you are an inspiration thank you for your constant support i love you so much bye to my big brother Lowe's, happy anniversary man on the blueprint it started off great and it's and it's is going up even higher. I'm happy that I've been part of your guest list back in the early days of your first year anniversary. Um and I'll be more than happy to come on again if you ever ever need me. Again, happy anniversary, peace and blessings, and many, 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 many more. God bless my brother. What up? One year. One year you've been doing the podcast, right? So I wore this shirt. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you remember this shirt about almost everybody in Mount Vernon and everybody in Emmanuel <laughs> got this shirt. But you made that happen. You remember the Tom Lowe's? You got me tickets to see the Michael Jackson show at the Garden, uh, Madison Square Garden. You remember that? You made that happen, right? <laughs> Come on, you remember that? And so you remember the time on your podcast? You Oh, you hear that? remember the time? Do you remember when we... Fell in love, it was, we were young and innocent then. I forgot the words, me and Michael Jackson fan. You remember that? I was able to speak to John Branca, Michael Jackson's lawyer. I was like, yo, he had all this stuff all over the wall, all the people that he worked with, plaques and everything. And, and I'm just like, I'm really speaking to Michael Jackson's lawyer? Like, yo, I'm on this podcast. No, you made that happen, right? You can make anything happen. It's nothing but up from here. I want to say I love you. I love the podcast. It's enjoyable all the time. I get the opportunity to listen. And it's nothing but up from here. So many more great people like you are great is going to be on their podcast, talking to the greatest and speaking and getting inspiration. And I love the fact that it's just not one genre, but there's many genres of conversation that go on on your podcast. So let's keep it going. All right. You can have me on, whatever you want to talk about. I think I'm well-versed in certain things, you know. We can talk about Michael Jackson. And if we don't want to talk about Michael Jackson, we could talk about Michael Jackson. <laughs> but I want to say thank you, man. Keep it going. Don't dis be discouraged. Your numbers, if they're low, that's all right. Listen, it's going to happen. You just need a couple of people that are dedicated to come in and make it what it is. And I want to celebrate you for one year and for many years to come. God bless you, I love you, and it's nothing but up from here. I think during the pandemic, the Lord really birthed a lot of transformation in a lot of people. But I can truly and honestly say that Elder Moore, this pivot that the Lord has given you to birth the blueprint was definitely one that will definitely stand the test of time. I think that um, over the past year, you have allowed yourself to be that one to bring together these informative programs that will bless the lives of God's people. And so for that, we thank you. I thank you 
um, just for being available and willing to um, put these uh, informative and impactful programs together. Because whenever we listen to a program, we definitely leave with a wealth of knowledge. We definitely leave with something that we can take and share with others. And so um, while this year has presented many difficulties for many people, um, pretty much all of us have gone through something. We want to thank you for your consistency over the past year, past year and for just how you've um, listened to the voice of God and um, use your gifts and talents to strengthen the community. Um, of people who are able to hear your message. And so I pray that the blueprint is spread across the world, international even, and that everyone gets an opportunity to just sort of glean from your wisdom. And so as you embark upon this one year anniversary and move into many, many more, um, I just want to say that I'm looking forward to seeing what is going to be birthed out of this next and I know that the best is yet to come for you. And God bless you and your family and this amazing journey. Hey, Lowe's. Hey, hey Lowe's. What's going on, man? Listen, this is Pastor D and Lady Mel just congratulating you on your one year anniversary of your podcast. Congratulations. And listen, may God continue to bless you in any and everything that you do. God bless you. Uh, as well. Yeah, I just got a text from Hill Hawker, and he was like, man, I'm, I'm on the way from Seattle to uh, Miami. Just wanted to say congratulations. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow, man. wow. That's awesome. So, yeah. Lowe's, when you see all these videos, uh, what's what's going through your mind there? Well, you know, so, one, of the, one of the things that, I, yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm a little teary-eyed over here, and, uh, you know, with all the people – you know, saying congratulations and, and um, yeah, just, yeah. I mean, you know what it was so crazy? I was talking to somebody, right? And and I said, you know, one of these days, man, I'm going to ask, um, I'm going to do a show. And this is long before I thought about doing a you know, podcast or anything. I said, I'm going to have a show. And I just wanted to ask Michael Jordan and LeBron James about their faith. <laughs> And uh, and so when when I started the show, I started thinking like, man, that's going to be one of my questions, right? Uh, and I always respect whether a person is has faith or not, right? And and some of them, when I send out the preparation, it it says right there in the preparation at least three main questions: uh, the importance of family, the importance of education. And the importance of faith. Now, I've had one person, you know, I've, I've asked every single person about faith. And, you know, different people have a different interpretation of what faith is. But one, only one person has come back and said to me, oh, I don't do religion or I don't do faith. And I respected that. That, that. that was fine because what they had to share, right, was such a benefit. You know, the, the show was just so amazing. And, you know, the thing I like about doing this, I, I would love, of course, we would love to monetize some, you know, we want to monetize, you know, I like somewhere down the line to monetize the, uh, the podcast. But, you know, I was just thinking, I'm telling my wife today, you know, but I would want people to see it free. You know, like, like they're saying it now, I want as many people to come on and see it, which means that somewhere down the line, you're going to have to get somebody who believes in the show and want to invest in it, right? And and so that you can continue to do, share this, people can share their stories free. You know, you know they can hear it for free without having to say, here's $10 a month or $5 a month, whatever it is, you know, because so many people have so many great stories. Uh, and, you know, I just want people to hear and be able to share those stories. You know? So this has just been awesome. Yeah, I, 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 um, I mean that that's great because our negotiations now were because I have a nonprofit, uh, five hundred one, and we're working out with different sponsorships. I'm in the middle of writing some grants, and and we also uh, we presented to PBS a couple of months ago. So it, it's a show like yours, Lowe's, that touches the hearts of so many, 
And um, I think, you know, what Rich, what Rich gave you that insight back then and you ran with it. And we're, yeah. hoping, and we're hoping that we all kind of work towards that because, we, but we want to give, we want to give your show and other shows like this yeah. for free, the option of uh, looking at it and making people see, you know, what real, what's real, what's really the heart of the matter and family, faith and education and, and, and friends is what it's all about. And, and it's just a, a journey that's really just starting. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm learning a little bit more. You know, I'm, I'm in a program. I'm in a program at, uh, right here. Westchester County has a new, a new program that just came out uh, a few months ago during the course of the pandemic. Is called uh, Launch 1000, and it, uh, Westchester County, the county uh, exec, wants to launch a thousand new businesses in the city in, in Westchester County. And they are like, uh, I joined, I registered and joined, and it's free for all those who live in Westchester County. And they and I'm in phase what is it, phase two of maybe seven or eight phases of how to flesh out, you know, your business and your idea and how to research the idea and and uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm enjoying learning about this entrepreneurial spirit that's probably been in me for a long time you know wow and, and, and you do it you do a, a men's group ministry group uh weekly too and i mean just and your connection. zoom calls yeah man yeah well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm do, I do a lot of, uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff, man. Um, you know, the men's thing I, I've enjoyed, I've been doing it six now, seven years on the men's, the national men's call. And I just finished with uh, Harvest Time, Harvest Time Church. They have life groups. And I just finished the Seven Spheres of Influence life group. Uh, we'll start back up in September. We was doing it every Tuesday. And I'm still doing the King Movement. Uh, with Chris Bassard and you know on, on Saturdays with the guys trying to get out in the street and you know do and fight for literacy you know uh, the battle combating literacy and doing the literacy campaign so you know that's that's important that's one of the reasons why I wrote the book because that was one of my obstacles was reading and uh, reading comprehension so uh, and in order to become the person that I am, I had to learn how to read. I had to learn how to write. And I had to learn how to compete in school as well as on the court. So um, that's why I think my book and, and many other stories are so important. I think Steve's story is important. I think your story, Rich, is important. Right? Everybody has a story and they need to share it. Wow. That's Thank right. You. Thank and, and Lowe's, I got to ask you this question. What In the last year, What's been the most rewarding aspect of these podcasts, these shows, and the most challenging thing for you? Mm. Um, give me that question one more time. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's been the most rewarding aspect of doing these shows for the last 52 weeks? And then the most challenging aspect of it as well. Well, the most rewarding is um when you see the comments each week right um after a show is completed and seeing those comments um at the bottom and seeing the comments after the show is over you get a chance to really look at those comments and and i think the uh the most the other important thing is you get views like tonight i'll get views and and uh you know uh, charlie was just mentioning whether you get enough views or enough people watching i think that if one person is watching right yeah and and, and and so i think it was michael jordan who said you know they asked him why do you play so hard you know every night and why do you play every game and he said you know i play every night with this kind of passion energy and excitement every single night because there may be one person who's in the crowd who's never seen me play Wow. And, I, and I want to be my best for that person every night that I play for that wow. one person. So whether it's one person watching or whether it's hundreds or thousands of people watching, 
you know, if you can be a blessing to one person, right? Hey, it's all been worth it. So that's been the exciting part. And to see when I look back during the course of the week and to see the views keep rising, like people looking at the show after the show has been completed for a week or two weeks and you see it's still growing. Mm. Yeah. And see, and seeing that people are viewing the show and, and, uh, that, that for me is exciting. Now the, 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 uh, the, the challenge of it is, um, you know, every week is, is the preparation and Steve, you know, uh, and, and, and Rich, you know, I mean, I don't just say, okay, let's do the, you know, just, I'm, oh, here comes the next guest. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's the research part of it, the research of the guests, even though I may know them, right? But I still don't know them. So, you know, going, you know, you know, going on Google or wherever I have to go or Facebook to mm -hmm. find pictures, you got to find the pictures, right? And, and then, you know, you got, I want to know more about him because then I can better, I can better, you know, help the story, you know, their story to come out. Right. You know, I don't want to be the first time I, I've read something about them. So I want to know their bio. I want to know what they're doing. And that's the challenging part. That's that's challenging each and every week. And then coming up with a book, you know, coming up with a book every week and coming up with a word and coming up with affirmation. Hey, um, Lowe's, quick question. Are you on Apple? I am not on Apple. Okay, we got to talk later. We get get you on Apple. Yeah, who is my son was talking about? Yeah, you need to be on Apple. You need to be on Instagram. Yeah, so I was like, okay, we I don't know how to do that, but okay, <laughs> we'll talk later, and I if, if we, I'll set you up. Yeah, you see, my wife just popped in. Oh yeah, hi, Miss Pat. <laughs> hey, how are you? How you hey, doing? Hey. How are you? I'm good. I, everybody's got a chance to say their, their congratulations and thank you. So I wanted to take my chance, my opportunity to say publicly uh, congratulations. Um, first of all, um, I want to publicly thank uh, Rich as well. Um, I remember when Rich first came to the house and came downstairs and Lowe's and he ran these private meetings and, you know, <laughs> They were constantly coming and we were like, what is going on? Like, what's going on? And Richard said, oh, well, we need this. We need a Zoom and we need this and we need that. And so I would just say, I said, Rich, just, just pick it out on Amazon. Just give me what, what we need. Uh -huh. And it was during a time of transition for our lives. And it was important for me to make sure that um, that Lowe's vision um, took life. A lot of, a lot of times um, people have vision and vision stays vision. Mm. It doesn't, and I, I always call, um, I would say that there are people that are, uh, are visionaries, uh, there are people that are uh, auctionaries or dictionaries, they <laughs> talk about it, sometimes people see it, and then there's actionaries, there's people that put, the, put those things together. Mm. Um, you know, and I, and I believe this was a combination of talking about it, um, seeing it, talking about it, and and doing it um, the scripture says uh write the vision and make it plain mm -hmm. and uh they that read it so that they may those who read it will run with it and that uh it will come to fruition at an appointed time for such a time as this and so you know though it might have been a dream that Moses had for years this time was necessary isn't it important that it fell during the pandemic a time then that, it was that needed. social media that um Technology took a leap, a giant leap forward. Yes. Uh, in mm -hmm. in March of 2020, nobody knew about Zoom except for high corporate tech, high, high corporate people that were doing international meetings. But by the time we got into May or June of 2020, Zoom became a common word. Um, mm -hmm. So did um, uh, Streamyard and all these different types yep. of um, connectivities, and so. Um, thank you, Rich, for bringing technology to life, um, putting us in people's living rooms and people's You're welcome. backyard You're welcome. decks and things like that. <laughs> um, and then uh, doing the same thing, you know, as, as Rich uh, transitioned to the next phase of his life, Steve, without any hesitation, stepped in. And so, yes. I, you know, I'm grateful to the two of you, but I, I really wanted to just also come on 
and just congratulate this great man uh, for the work that he has done. Um, I'm very proud of him. Yes. He takes this very seriously. Yes, he's yes, right. He's studying, and sometimes I might give him a guest or two, uh, and he'll just kind of look and you know go this way or that way with it. Um, but I can honestly say that um, everybody that we brought to the table has really done a phenomenal job. And can I put in my comments that what has made it special is pop up guests too. Yeah, um, that was that was uh, Steve's idea. Really, pop up guests guests wow. have been great. Great, it's, Steve. It actually makes it. Um, it actually makes it all come to life. And so I just wanted to say thank you. Um, and for whatever we have to continue to do to keep it going, um, you know, it's the next level. And, and I put in, um, I put in my uh, my comments when we the videos. There were three videos that didn't we didn't get to, to uh, Charlie in time. Um, one of them was from my sister and her husband, um, niece and nephew, and also from Apostle uh, uh, Paul Shaw um, had all set videos. But I will put it on the uh, blueprint blueprint. Um, uh, Facebook page, Facebook page. The whole video, and I just wanted to say that at the end of it, it says we are now shooting for two. Wow! Year two. Yeah, wow. that's awesome, man. Um, yeah, it, it, awesome. It, it's been good. I just got a text from um, Leon. He was on the show, um, and he, he wasn't able to pop on all week long. He was talking about, man, I'm gonna pop on, man, I'm gonna pop on. And he wasn't able to pop on, but he said congratulations, and and man, this is this is this has been uh, this has been a good night, you know, it's been a great night. Yeah, yeah, this oh, yeah. this this has been awesome, man. And you know, I I, I said uh, I say to everybody, I had I was on uh, my daughter had a every year she has a career day, and I, we were on Zoom for career day, and I had. Uh, elementary school. I was up there about 15, 20 minutes. Elementary school and, you know, talking about my career. I say careers. <laughs> you know, I, start, I talked about, you know, basketball, being an executive director, and, and now, you know, being the host of the Blueprint Podcast. And, and I told the kids, you know, find something you love to do and you will never work a day in your life. Mm. And uh, I love basketball, right? And I love being the executive director of the Boys and Girls Club. And I love communicating with people, mm. right? I love building relationships, and I love communicating with people. And 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 the podcast fell right in there. It's something I love to do. I didn't know if I would. <laughs> In the second, in your next chapter, you're looking, trying to find something you love to do, and man, it's it's so crazy that you would find something so quick. Wow, and you know, and I and and I was thinking about speaking. I like to talk to people, you know. I like to speak to people and share my experiences, and that's my love for for sharing and communicating, right? And and um, I want I think I want to say thank you to both of you guys because seeing the comments seeing people communicate back and then steve came up with the idea uh doing i think one of our shows about the pop-up yes wow and i just kept it in there yeah trying to find people who would uh who would pop on and had questions and actually was, uh the career day and and uh one of my daughter's staff members who've been talking for years, ever since she was a teacher. Mm -hmm. I love Denzel Washington. I love Denzel Washington. When do you want to bring Denzel Washington to the school? You know, when am I going to meet Denzel Washington? Your dad knows Denzel Washington. And when we had the show and we had Denzel on, she was able to pop on. And she she commented. She said, I was on there at his show with Denzel. That's right, you know, right in the midst of the career day on uh, Friday. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean... Those and, are inspiration. Yeah, Lowe's, I have to say that, I mean, when you had Denzel Washington on and you called me and you offered a little cameo spot on there, it meant so much to me and the trust that you had in me to be a part of that special show. Every show is special. 
but then I was also I wanted to get other people involved with it, and you allowed that platform as well for not just me, but for other people to be direct contact with yourself and Denzel Washington. Um, that that was inspiring to those people on that show, and I think that's who you are. You're an advocate, and you empower people through and through. And this show needs to continue in a big, big way. And I mean, yeah. I'll never forget you for that gift and everything that you bring to so many people. But all the guests you've had, it's a blessing week after week. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Lowe's, do, do you have a um, preview for year two? Do you have like what's what's next and what's coming and what are you going to do? Did you get that yet? Yeah, I've been thinking about a couple of things, man. And um you know uh it's gonna be some surprises so you know so uh uh hey and you know it's interesting to have a show to do the show in in uh charlotte north carolina uh -huh. that, that was exciting for me you know family was there and then uh, my little cousin chris got a, got the pop on okay and then we went to fayetteville and we had um you know the show in fayetteville my brother's man cave upstairs and and uh you know doing the show from there and then I, I think I had two exciting, you know, Denzel was all, all, all the guests were great. Um, my most inspirational to me was Zion. Yeah. Zion, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. You, know, you know, his whole situation just inspired me even more. And I think, man, if he can't encourage you, <laughs> nobody yeah, can. Nobody can. Right. And, and then on, uh, I think last week, I had uh, Dean Bowman on. That that was that was awesome too because Dean was in Romania, wow, right? and he had just finished the Romania Idol, right? And he made it to the huh? Romania, Romania got talent, and he made it to the finals. Wow, and he he was in Romania, which was seven hours ahead. Wow, so it was two o'clock in the morning where he was. And, wow. and that that show was just really exciting and have friends pop on and they start singing, you know, and I told them we're going to do it again and we're going to do a sing along. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to sing. But you got to sing, Lowe's. You got to sing. I'm not, oh, God. I'm not going to sing. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, stick to uh, basketball. <laughs> stick to basketball. Yeah. But, but, but Lowe's, Lowe's, August 1st, you're getting inducted to the New York State Basketball Hall of Fame. Yes. Which yes, happens yes. to be on a Sunday. So you got to do your show from there. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. Yes, that would be New awesome. York, yes. New York State Basketball Hall of Fame, August the 1st. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'll be in Troy, New York. And um, he said I was the headliner. He could have said that to everybody, though. But, nah, uh, <laughs> you're the headliner. Yeah, so I'm going to enjoy that. And then next week, um, you know, I have one of the youngest county legislators, um, you know, Ty Ray, uh, Woodson Samuel, he's going to yeah. be on next week. We're going to talk about him. He was a Boys and Girls Club member back in the day. And then we have the Father's Day special, uh, with Reggie Tuttle and, and, uh, Tony. And, and then we're going to do a special on the 27th, uh, with Bobby Huggins with the West Virginia basketball coach, my teammate. And we're going to do a special tribute to our, one of our teammates who uh, passed away from, ALS uh, a few years ago. Um, his, his niece is getting married on, on July the 3rd. And the sister, which we, we were good friends, like sisters, uh, sister and brother, she asked if he could do something special. So we're going to do something for, for them because she's getting married and her uncle Joe won't be able to be there. You know, and and then we're going to, I don't know what's going to happen 4th of July. Maybe we do 4th of July, the family will be outside cooking out and stuff like that and have a good time. You hear some music. And then we're going to have um, Milton Band. And then we're going to have Steve on. Steve is going to be on. Yeah. We're going to talk really deeply about the chapters rap. Yeah. And then hopefully by then, man, we're going to somewhere down there. We're going to get Rich back on, man. We're going to make <laughs> we, we go in the bus. We, we, yeah. We, 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 I want to catch a ride in that bus there. That looks yeah. impressive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that looks great. That's right. And Lowe's, we got to get you to do this uh, backyard thing one day, too. Oh, there's the bus. There we go. <laughs> wow. We could take the bus to Lowe's house. There we go. 
Yeah. yeah. Like the studio in the back, and we just run everything, go where we got to go. I'll, I'll, you just pick me up. I'll be on the turnpike somewhere. You just pick me up. I got you, Steve. I got, right. you. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Hey, I can't do anything outside because they're knocking the bridge down, down the street. There's a, uh. all the bridge, the bridges on the ground, and they keep banging. Oh, everything. they knocked the bridge out? Yeah, they knocked the bridge out. Wow. Uh, so, but again, thank you guys, man. I appreciate you, man, for all that you've done in this year, man. Man, God bless Thank you, man. You. Love you guys, man. Love and you. Love you both, love you too, man. Yeah, love God you too, bless. Brother. Congratulations. Thank Happy you. anniversary. Congratulations. Happy anniversary, you. brother. You got and this. To all those who supported oh, this whole 52 weeks, I want to say thank you. God bless you. And I love you all. And have a wonderful week. You too, brother. Thank you. Love you, brother. Thank you. We really hope you enjoyed this episode of Lowe's Moore, the Blueprint Podcast. Stay connected and follow us at our website, www.lowesmore.com. That's L-O-W-E-S-M-O-O-R-E.com. You can also join the discussion on Twitter at Lowe's Moore and on Facebook at Lowe's Moore Jr. As always, thank you for pushing your mindset towards a better reality. This concludes the most thought-provoking portion of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this podcast to stay fully up to date with everything we're up to. Until next time, be kind to yourself and each other. What they teaching is a joke. I ain't buying it like I'm broke. Insufficient funds for insignificant drugs.